still got to be very, very gentle with it because it can all come apart. And what you want. This is a great uh, simile for uh, good but, meditation. Yeah. Smoke. Keep at it. Little by little, we can work at meditation. We don't have deep knowledge yet. We don't really know what we're doing, but we can progress a little at a time. We may not know that we benefit from it, but we do, little by little. Old folks here will tell you there's fire in dry bamboo. In the past, Matches were hard to come by and didn't always work. When people went into the forest, they could just find some dry wood, and they knew there was fire in it. Whenever they wanted to cook, they only had to rub two pieces of dry bamboo together to start a fire. They would just keep rubbing them together. At first, the wood was cold. Rubbing for a while, it got hot. Then after some time, there was smoke but it did take a while to get hot, and even more time to make smoke and finally fire. Now we, their children and descendants in these times, don't have much patience. If we try to rub pieces of bamboo to make fire, within two minutes we're getting restless. We get fed up and put the sticks down. Time to take a break. Then we pick them up again. We find they're cold. We start rubbing once more, but we're starting from the beginning again so they don't get hot very quickly. And again, we get impatient. Like this, we could keep at, at it for a, an hour or a whole day and wouldn't see any fire. We rub and stop, rub and stop. Then we start to criticize the old people. These old timers are crazy. I don't know what they're talking about. They must be lying. I've been rubbing the sticks all this time and still there's nothing. This is what happens if our understanding and commitment to practice don't go far enough. There's not enough heat, but we expect to have fire. The old folks have done that, but they know it takes some effort. You have to keep rubbing without taking a break. If you take a break, you only get cold sticks. It's like the students who travel here to study meditation. They listen to some teaching and they want to get it fast. They want to find the method of meditation that will give them results fastest of all. I tell them, if you want fastest, it won't work. There's such a thing as cause and result. The results will be born of the appropriate causes. It doesn't simply appear in an instant as we desire it to. Fastest, even the Buddha would be stumped. We will progress on the path because of continuous effort, just like someone rubbing pieces of bamboo to get fire. Rubbing without stopping, the heat increases. The more she rubs, the hotter it gets. When smoke appears, fire is near. But at the point when she gets smoke, she doesn't take a break. It's not a game, so she knows she has to keep at it. In that way, she gets fire. Yay! Yay! Well done. Well done. See how hard this is, Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that. Let there be fire, folks. Oh, oh no! Oh, no! Oh, <laughs> he got careless, man. I told you, I told you that was going to happen, didn't I? <laughs> All right. Where's that lighter at? No, <laughs> no. <laughs>